Okay, so today we are going to be creating a spooky spider. We're using our markers. So you'll start off with pencil, but I'm gonna do it with a marker so that you can see it. When we get our markers, remember they're in our sets. We just twist and pull. Our very first shape we're going to create is a circle. So we're making a big circle first. Once you've made your big circle, then we're going to start to create our spooky spider's eyes. So we're going to create one, two ovals. Once you have those ovals, we're going to add some a little circle inside that. Once you've added that, you can then color in your eyes. Once we have our two eyes for our spider to see, we're gonna create our spider's legs. We need eight legs because a spider has eight legs. So I start to create a line that goes up at a diagonal, and then I bring a line down. Kind of looks like a V shape. So then I, that's one. And I'm gonna do that eight more times. Two, three, four. Once we've done that, I'm gonna do four more on this side. It's gonna be symmetrically balanced. Same on both sides. So we go one, two, three, four. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Once you have its eight legs, we're gonna take our marker. We're going to thicken up our legs a little bit so they're not too skinny. Getting our legs. We're even going to color inside our circle. Now notice how I'm coloring on the side of my marker. See how it has a point? It has the diagonal. When we color in, we color in on the side. I also turn and twist my marker so it colors on the side. Notice how I'm staying inside the lines. I'm not going out of the lines. I'm looking at my circle shape, staying inside the lines. That's called coloring in neatly. When we go outside of the lines, that is called where we're just coloring every which way, scribble, scrabble. We don't want to scribble, scrabble it. We want it to be neatly. We're coloring inside the lines. Making it neatly. So now I have my spider. I need a spider web. To start my web, I'm going to take the tip of my marker. You might want to use pencil. I start to create some lines going towards my spider. Later on, we're gonna make it have some reflection, like a prism, 
and use our Roy G. Biff. So now I have some of the lines, but we gotta make sure that we have a pattern. So it repeats, I'm going to make a curved line. This is giving me repetition, creating a pattern that repeats. Now when we're making these little scallop things, we want to have enough of these scallops that we're going to have our Roy G. Biff. Because remember, we're creating a prism like the light is shining on our spider web. And it is going to create our Roy G. Biff. I'm just creating some different little curved lines going around, creating a pattern. So first it's just making the lines. Okay. And we might have to make some more lines so we have enough for our Roy G. Biv, okay? So, we're gonna go through our color set. Our very first color is red. Red for our Roy. We can bring that up a little bit right here. So we're making our R. And it doesn't have to go over the black line if you don't want it to. You can make it where it's just so bright from the sunlight that it made those lines and it's reflecting. So red is for R in our Roy. O is for orange. So my next color going over my black line is going to be orange. So the light is reflecting a prism on the spider web. Is when we talk about a rainbow of color, it's a prism of how the color reflects. So R, O, when we get to the rest of the Roy, it's Y. So now I'm on my yellow. It's okay if it kind of skips a little bit. Maybe your curves didn't go all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect. See, so I have a little eye that doesn't have some of the light reflection. Then G is for green. And then Biff Blue. And our very last colors is Indigo and Violet. We only have one purple, so we're just going to use that purple, okay? So now it looks like the web is reflecting the light, creating a rainbow. 